I have a confession to make you guys. I'm not always organized. I will start out really organized, but sometimes the organization gets thrown off for numerous reasons. I know you think I'm completely organized when you look at my YouTube channel, my Instagram, and my Facebook, but I like to keep it real in videos, and today is one of those keeping it real videos. So I am going to share with you my work backpack today. And I was really tempted to clean this out a little bit before I started this video. And I'm like, no, I'm not. You guys, I have crammed so much stuff in this backpack since school started in August. So I have no idea what's in here. So we're going to find out what's in here together. I'm Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you are new here, I'm so glad that you've decided to join us and we would love for you to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every single week. And while you're at it, hop on over to Instagram and become a part of our community over there. I post daily, do Insta stories stories daily and I'm starting to do more Instagram lives. So definitely become a community member there and here. So today we're going to tackle my unruly teacher backpack. You guys, I've shared this in, I want to say three different videos now. You saw a what's in my teacher backpack video. It made a favorite things, and it was one of my 10 favorites from the year 2018. So if you cannot tell, I really, really, really love this backpack, and I've talked about it nonstop. All of those videos I'm going to link in cards above, but here's the thing. I have let it get so out of hand since August. I have not cleaned this bad boy out not one time. So we are going to tackle this backpack together and get it ready for 2019. And yes, I have my pajama pants on because that's how I do things around here. If I don't go to work, normally I'm sitting in my pajama pants and a decent shirt. Okay, so you guys, this backpack, one of the reasons why I love it is because it has so many compartments. But guess what? I have junked up every compartment in here. So on the side, we're going to do a little side pocket. So it's got two side pockets. One. Oh, just one. It's got one side pocket. And... So I've got my toddy gear, pocket toddy. I've got some, there's the cap. You guys, I have been looking for this cap for some time and had no idea where my Cutter B scissors cap is. I have no idea why it was in the side of this pocket. There it is. Got some um, chapstick type thing. I was looking for that too. There is my Erin Condren pen. So that's everything in this side pocket. Now we're gonna go to the front. I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, yes there is. This fell off of my backpack, you guys. My Chrissy Ann Designs pin completely just popped off. Like I still have the back on my backpack, but this somehow came off. So I'm gonna have to use some tweezers to get that off of the front of my bag. Probably gonna have to have my husband help me with that because I can't get it off. I'm gonna have to get some pliers or something to get that off. But the other pins have stayed perfectly. I don't know why that one just peeled off. So the locking backs work great. I will put a link in the description below to that. Paper made ink joy gel pen. You guys, I need, I thought I didn't have any of those. It was in the front pocket. Okay, second pocket here. Nothing. Oh my goodness. Shocking. Nothing. <laughs> this is going to be the, the pocket right here. This is going to be the kicker. Oh my, my daughter's laughing at me, you guys. She's laughing at me. Look at all this. this. I don't even know. Okay. Wow, all of that was in this one little pocket here. Okay, that's that's horrible. 
Okay, next, I don't have anything in this pocket. Right here, there's two bigger compartments. There's this one here. I never keep anything in there. I keep everything in this main pocket here. This is probably gonna be a nice amount too. So let's scoot all that. What is that? I got a broken piece of something in here and my highlighter just ran off. Okay, this is something, that's my editorial calendar that I've been writing out. I need to move that to the monthly, the Erin Condren monthly. There's a new, um, just plain notebook. Got my budget planner. And look, my budget planner is not even in the case. Okay, my new book. These I'm taking to work to hang in my classroom because they're laminated. They're my kids' things. Oh, and the bottom is just horrible. Oh, Lord. Okay, an old Ulta coupon. An old Erin Condren coupon, an old Bath and Body Works coupon, a Disney bill that I've paid. Why is that in there? Oh my goodness, I, why is this in here? I have a, a new thing of the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel eye cream. Mm. A pen, no, a, pen. a brush. I told you I got it. It's like Mary Poppins bag over here. Uh, this cord that I'm thinking goes to my external, but my external's not even in here, but this cord is. So I think this goes to my external. I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to check. Then I've got the case for my charger. Here's my power bank. See, it's not even in the, the thing there. Okay, I've got random papers and things. Um, homeowner's policy from State Farm. Why is that in there? My charcoal tablets. This is what needs to be in the side pocket because this is what I need in case I get glutened. I like to have this and I take those immediately because it helps with the uh, absorption. And you guys, that's it. Everything is cleaned out now. But look at that, y'all, that's horrible. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to create piles. Things that are gonna go back in the backpack, things that need to go somewhere else, things that need to be thrown away. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. created these are going to go back in the main the big compartment this i'm not sure if all of this is going to go in there but i'm going to go through there and put that back in the little top organizer oh this too this goes in there this is all trash up here and then over here these are things that need to go somewhere else so what i'm going to do right now is i'm going to go ahead and throw away what needs to be thrown away and get everything put where it needs to go that's not going back in the backpack. Okay, I got both of those things put up and now I've got my empty backpack sitting on a chair just so it's easier to fill so I can stand up and move around easier. So the first thing we're gonna do is fill this back pocket back up. And for that, I'm gonna put this in here. And you guys, this is my editorial calendar that I have been working on for 2019. So what I will end up doing is moving it to this. And you might say, don't you have that in your life planner? Yes, I do. But remember my life planner only goes through June. So I need something because I plan out so far in advance. So that's why I went ahead and bought this monthly planner for 2019. So I'll put everything in here. And then once I get my new life planner, it'll move into my new planner. So I'm gonna put both of those in here and I'm gonna put them in this little back pocket just so they're separated. So I know they go together. Then I'm gonna put all of my little things I want to hang up in my classroom in here. And these will be coming out once I get to school. So it's not that big of a deal. 
Then we're gonna put my monthly deluxe planner, which is my budget planner in here. And you're not gonna see my life planner because it is sitting on my desk. So it will go back in the backpack once I start work on Monday. Then my new Erin Condren notebook. You guys, this is basically my brain dump. So I put anything and everything that I can think of in this, any type of notes I need to take for videos, my favorite things. Um, giveaways, anything and everything gets placed in this notebook. So I always have one of those with me. And then the new book I'm reading, The Woman in the Window by AJ Finn. I always keep my book just in case I'm somewhere like Cheer or somewhere like that that I need to have my book because I have some extra time to read. So all of that's going to go in the back main pocket. And now we're going to move to this smaller pocket up here you guys i don't need four highlighters so what i will do is i will go through my planner for the week that i'm currently on so i'm going to get my planner and i'm going to see the color scheme for that week so next week's color scheme is actually it would go with a pink so none of these are even going to go in this backpack so i need to switch out my highlighters every single week so these are going to go on my desk and i'm going to grab my pink highlighter and put it inside this little zipper pocket so i'm going to put two in here because just in case one of them runs out i do have a backup then i'm i'm trying this not keeping a pencil pouch i'm just going to use this little pocket up here as my pencil pouch okay I don't need 15,000 pens. So I'm gonna put two of my Ink Joy gel pens because they are my favorite. My Erin Condren black pen, and I don't know the name of this exactly, the fine point. It's got two ends, it's got a thicker end, and then it has a fine tip on it. And then my Sharpie fine liner permanent marker because this is what I use for the Libyan Co stickers. So those are gonna be the four pins that go in here. I am gonna go ahead and put two of my vitamin packs in here just in case I don't have one with me. I know, cause usually what I do when I go back to work is I will put five packs in my lunch box. But just in case I forget to do that, I know I have some backups in here. My big whiteout runner. This is so helpful. And I like the small ones, the mini, because it has the little cap that closes and opens. I've ruined so many of the bigger ones. Then I'm gonna put my chapstick in there. I always have to have a backup chapstick. And that is all I am going to keep in this zipper compartment. Okay, next up is the just main little bungee pocket I have on the side. You guys, I really don't keep a whole lot in here. The only things that I want to keep in here are my charcoal tablets and my toddy gear pocket toddy. Now this is to clean off my phone, to clean off my sunglasses, my eyeglasses, anything like that. I use this to clean that, so that is all in that pocket. Okay, I was digging through my R Riveter Corbin that I carry on a daily basis when I'm not working and I realized I forgot my hand sanitizer. So hand sanitizer is the last thing that goes in this side pocket. So I've got my charcoal tablets, my hand sanitizer and then my pocket toddy goes in there my financial little organizer here what i'm going to keep in there is the ledger for my brand this is my checkbook register for right now and then lastly this is the cheer and taekwondo ledger so all three of those ledgers will stay in here if you've not seen my how i keep track of my checkbook with different ledgers i'll put that video in a card above and then the next thing i will keep in this pouch is my power bank i keep this just in case i'm not near a phone outlet and can charge my phone so that is going to go in there and then this is the last thing that is going to go in this pocket here. And this is my wristlet. Now I was using the black uh, Mickey Coach wristlet my mom got me last year for Christmas. But I got this one for Christmas this year from my mom. If you've not seen the what I got for Christmas video, I will leave that in a card above. So this basically has all of the cards that I use. It has um, a thing of chapstick and then it has some change in it so that is going to go in here and then that's it and we're going to zip that compartment up and one other thing i forgot to share is my pouch here this is going to go in the main compartment and this basically has all of the half boxes in it that i own most of them are Libby and co and here's why i'm carrying these around with me every single day 
there are many times that I go through and I move videos around, but I've already done my plan with me for that month. So I keep these in my backpack just in case I need to make a quick adjustment to my editorial calendar. So that is always in here. The last pocket up front is the pocket that I keep for my checkbook. So you guys, that is how I have my backpack organized. I've got it all cleaned out and it's ready to go for 2019. And everything that I need every single day is right in here. Now you may wonder, do you carry a purse? No, I do not. I do not carry a purse on a daily basis. The little Disney wristlet that you saw, if I have to run into Walmart or run any errands, all I have to do is grab out that Disney wristlet and go. I do not keep makeup in my bag. Y'all, I don't, I'm not a big makeup person. Like I will put makeup on in the morning and that's it. I don't freshen up my makeup. The only time I might pull out a powder compact is to use the mirror. But other than that, I do not touch up my makeup throughout the day. What I start with is what I end the day with, and it's really not that big of a thing to me. So that is one less thing that is adding bulk to my bag. So you guys, I would love it in the comments below if you would share with me what type of work bag you have. What do you carry to work? Even if you're not a teacher, if you are a nurse, or if you are somebody that works in retail, what type of bag do you carry every single day back and forth to work? I would love to hear it in the comments below because I'm always looking for new bags to check out. So I hope you hit that red subscribe button below to become a part of this community and a part of our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. Also, I hope you give this video a big thumbs up by giving my videos a thumbs up. It shows YouTube you are engaged and they'll start recommending and suggesting my content to more people. So that means our community will grow and will continue to spread more positivity. So you guys, I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope you have a fantastic week. So until next time, bye you guys.